was married to a man who became extremely successful. And as I watched him rise, I noticed two things. He worked very hard, much harder than your average bear. And he said no a lot. He said no to people who wanted his time and attention and energy. He said no in a way that protected his resources so that he could channel them toward his own goals. And I realized that behind every no is a deeper yes to whatever it is that you do want. No is like a bright line that, when used properly, marks off where you end and others begin. And we learn this young. I have kids, and when they want to assert their power and individuality, they say no, no. But when you lose your deep yes, you also lose your bright no. How can you say no to protect what you want if you don't even know what you want? And I started to wonder if maybe the reason I had trouble saying no to people was because I did not think that I was worth a yes to protect. All right, guys, that was a video from Justine Musk. Kirby, I know you want to get right into this. I, I have some stuff to say, but I'll, I'll let you start it off because you seem to be very passionate about this one. Um, When I saw this video, I had to watch it a couple of times. Because first thing I just want to say, wow, wow. It was it was amazing. Um, Alex, as you know, the thing I say, the forgotten word in the English language is no. People don't use it enough. And she just articulated it in a way that I never could. And I'm so glad somebody finally found a way to put it in such beautiful context that, that it just make you just say, wow, because that's it. I mean, no is... It's something that we forgot as a nation. We forgot as people. We for, we forgot. It's just everything is yes. Oh, let them do. Let it do. Let it do. Um, me, I this and this one that always it always I ain't gonna say it peed me off is like in another video you talk about people always call asking you for stuff. And then you realize that if I keep giving up everything, if I keep giving up to them because, you know, you're supposed to help the people in need, then I will fall short. That's what you said in a previous video. And it's the truest thing ever. Like when people, well, they, nobody don't call me no more. I mean, I still get calls, but not at the altitude it was back when I was just starting my venture, trying to get from point A to just point B. Um, they used to call, you know, the same things, family members, friends call them, like, hey, can I get this? And I would just say no. And I would say no, but then they would ask for a reason for the no. And then, oh, well, you what well, you got bills to pay or you got to, no, the answer is just no. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say I don't have it. It's just no. I need my capital to go where my capital needs to go to be what my version of success is. I mean, that's a real, a real big, I mean, I really lost my words because the only thing I'm thinking about right now is what was just shown on the video. But that is something that people don't understand. When you keep giving your resources up little by little, and I mean, some people call it, you know, crabs in a barrel mentality. It's, that's all it is. You keep giving your resources up little by little, and then you don't have money to invest. You don't have money to fund your 401k. You don't have money to fund your Roth IRA. You don't have money to invest in real estate or invest to buy a business. Hell, you don't, people give up their resources. They don't even have money to pay their own rent. And they ain't paying somebody else's rent, light bills and things like that. But I'm not giving up my resources to fund nobody. And my resources need to be focused on this. Like, I get calls all the time. Hey, let's go out and eat. It's hard for me to turn down food. But if I have something bigger going on, I don't. Like when I teach a class, my whole day is around the class that I teach. So if somebody be like, hey, we going here at 8 o'clock. No, I got class. I can't do it. No. And it don't matter what it is because my time and resources need to be focused on what I need to do, no matter how turned up the party is, no matter who's going to be there, unless the person that's going to be there is going to get me from one number to the next number on the network or add a zero to it, I'm not going. I'm just not doing it. 
is because I prioritize my goals in life above everybody else's. The only person that I, only two people, three people that I prioritize is my wife and my kid. Those are the only ones that can, that can get my time and resources. But besides that, the answer is no. But Alice, go ahead. I really like this video. I like how she articulated uh, the word no, how she explained everything. Um, because especially for a woman having been, you know, married to Elon Musk, I can only imagine how many no's she heard out of him. And I always try and make the point to people because people seem to have such low standards for themselves that it takes a certain behavior, way of thinking, mentality, character to achieve what people like Elon Musk have achieved and including the way they speak. No is obviously a big part of his vocabulary. And we as a society are are taught so much to just say yes to everything. Just just give just give out money, just help people whenever they're in need, just rather than being selfish. Selfish I think has been converted into a bad word. And mm -hmm. being selfish was something I remember thinking to myself when I did start changing my mentality on things when I was around 18, that I was tired of living for other people. I thought to myself, I, at this point, I don't even give a shit. Like, I'm just going to, I'm just going to focus on myself. Like, I don't care if it hurts anybody. I, I just want to focus on myself because I'm tired of wanting and dreaming of these things and having these goals, but I can't achieve them because I'm, I'm too preoccupied trying to care what other people think. And so when you can let that go and you can cut that out of your life, you can focus on yourself and you can grow yourself. And there's nothing better than actually achieving the goals you want to achieve and reaching the life you want to have than being stuck in this fantasy world of, oh, I can never get there because I have to care what my mom says. I have to care what my grandma says. I have to care what my brother says, my sister, my parents, whatever. They aren't, if they are not, on the same page as you supporting you to get to where you want then do they really care and i'm not saying you know that i'm not giving a shot shout out to my family saying that you know they they don't care i'm just saying in families in general to people in general that think that your family is there for you I've heard way too many stories where people are too busy trying to take care of their mom, too busy trying to take care of their siblings, and they can never get to the life that they want to have. And it's all because they just can't simply tell them no. And there was a video on Dan Pena where he said his highest performance students hold everybody accountable, including their mother. And... What? If my mom watches this, I'm not trying to shoot you down. <laughs> not trying to get stabbed later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but she's gonna slap you with a tortilla. But, but you know, there that conversation needs to be had because I've I spoke with my mom about that and she now understands. I mean, she still tries to slip away in trying to get me to take her out to dinner, and I gotta be like, look, bologna sandwiches are still an option. But you know, yeah. she, <laughs> but but she, <laughs> But she, but you know, she understands. Like, you know, I had to have multiple conversations with her. Like, I cannot, you know, I, you know, it, I'd be more than happy to, you know, give you gifts, help you when you need, and whatever. But I've got to get to the point where doing that out of the kindness of my heart or out of an emotional act isn't going to cost me in the long run. I can't do that in the beginning right. where making emotional decisions is going to be a huge cost on me and whole, and a setback because I need these resources. I need this capital to get to where I want to get to. And then when someone is has reached that status, when they're a multimillionaire, eight, nine figures, whatever, 
then yeah, at that point, it doesn't, you know, buying your mother a purse or whatever, it doesn't really matter. But when you're trying to get there, even as simple as, you know, taking your mother out on holidays, on Mother's Day and whatever, all that stuff, people don't realize you always saying yes to these events, saying yes to these things holds you back because you need those resources. You need that capital in order to grow. And that stuff is always going to hold you back. And people, they're so afraid to be selfish because they think that it's wrong. They think that it's a sin. They think that it's whatever. And in reality, all it does is just, it hurts you if you're not going to be that way. Right. Two things. I mean, and so if people just sit around, sit down and thought about it, every time, I mean, everybody got somebody in their family members and, you know, family and friends that always say yes to everybody. But when you say yes to everybody, when you're in need, everybody that you say yes to, none of them is ever around to help you when you're in need. Exactly. And the other thing is, so just, th just think about it. Elon Musk is a public figure. So just think how much time you get harassed and ask for stuff and your network is not even on Google. So I can imagine the calls that he gets. I can only imagine. I mean, I got people calling me, asking me for thirty and fifty thousand dollars to start businesses. I can only imagine what the heck this guy goes through, and and to have the network and everybody think that he has two hundred sixty billion dollars sitting up under his mattress. All of his assets are really much. I mean, illiquid unless he you know starts selling off owner owner percentages of his company. To have to sit there and say, no, 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 like, no, I can't spend my time doing this. I'm doing this. And I mean, like the previous video, Elon Musk, uh, he say no to a lot, even no to buying big houses and things like that. You know, he's staying in a you know normal neighborhood now. But it's it's just amazing that people don't understand that. And I always and Alex, you've seen the shirt is and it says, uh, don't follow the masses because the M is silent. Um, it's because I'm always, I'm, I'm a bit contrarian because I just don't believe a mass group of people are smart. So if everybody's saying it, I always go counter to what everybody's saying because I just don't believe a group is smart. Like, oh, you, you should always help. Oh, but that's family. But no, it's, but that's family. So I have to realize that's my family member and help them. But the person who's always asking for stuff don't realize, hey, that's my family member. They're trying to do something bigger and better. And and it's funny that the family member that always call you, they think they're the only one that's calling. Oh, man, you can't help me out. I'm like, do you realize it's more than just you? It's everybody calling. But they, they always think that, oh, no, they are so special that they're the only one that's calling. No. If you saying yes to everybody, your funds are getting sucked out every which way. And the next thing you know, you're sitting there and then you sit sitting there, you get, you know, you get older and then you're like, oh, man, well, now I need some help. And the only thing you hear is crickets. Because all the people you say yes to, they didn't improve their life with the help that you gave them. They just. You were just financing their stupid decisions. And you're going to keep financing their stupid decisions. So, oh, I know I can just call Alex when I make a stupid decision and he's going to bail me out. Why would I choose to improve my life? Why not? You always call him Alex to ask for money. Why not call Alex to ask him, hey, Alex, what are you doing to get there? That's that's the craziness of it. But I know we're running a little long. So, Alex, I can you the final words. Yeah, no, uh, all I can say to people is be more selfish. Stop giving a damn what other people think. Say no more often. So with all that being said, guys, like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, share, subscribe, and we will see you guys on the next one.